Now this is a Western Digital Purple Drive, a four terabyte drive that we are going to install into this tower. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. Now this hard drive is a three and a half inch hard drive that has a spinning disc inside of it. These screw holes are important because the tray that we're gonna put it in, we're gonna screw this to that tray and then it'll slide into this tower. Every tower will be a little bit different. So depending on the PC that you own, you may have to purchase a tray if it's a refurbished PC, so it depends. But either way, you wanna just get it secured. I'll show you on mine what it looks like. Now on the back, these are the ports you're gonna use. This side is for the power, and this side is the SATA connection. Now SATA is the type of data transfer that this drive uses, and that's what connects to the motherboard of the computer. The motherboard knows this as a SATA hard drive. Now this PC tower is a Lian Li brand. Um, it lights up and it's fancy and all that. It's one I actually built myself. This is gonna open up. So I'm gonna lay this down and first show you the motherboard and where the drive would plug in on the motherboard. So let's do that without breaking anything. And to open this case, I flip this down and then this glass door opens up. So computer 101, this whole thing that all these modules are plugged into is the motherboard. Over here you have your sticks of RAM. This fan is a cooling system for the CPU, the processor. I have a small graphics card here. This isn't anything special. And then you have slots for larger graphics cards, etc. So over here is what we're interested in. These ports over here are SATA ports. And you can see I already have a SATA cable plugged in to this port. Now, often motherboards will have several in different locations around the, uh, the motherboard. So that's just one that I have chosen. But you're gonna wanna look for the SATA connection. And I'll show you the other end of the cable so you can see what that looks like in just a second. So I mentioned there would be power and there would be a SATA data cable. So this is your power, and you can. this is coming off the power supply, which is right here. This is gonna go into right here on the drive. Now we're gonna mount this drive in a second, but just for, to show you. And then here's the SATA, this is what SATA, so when you look at your motherboard, this is what you're looking for, something that looks like this. And you're gonna wanna plug that in right there until it clicks. Make sure you have a nice connection. Now, like I said, you don't want this just dangling around. You want this mounted. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spin this back around. We're gonna mount it into the tray and then we'll be ready to boot this up. One word of caution, always make sure this computer is completely unplugged, turned off. You never wanna have power connected when you put plug in a new hard drive. So in my case, there are hard drive mounts below here next to the power supply. And these trays slide out. So here's a plastic tray. And your case will be different unless you get the same one. The hard drive sits into the tray and then there's screw holes on the side. You can see they line up like so. And your case will come with the screws, tiny little screws that you'll screw the hard drive onto the tray. And then once we do that, we'll slide the tray back in. So we'll put the screws in like so. And when I get all six in, I will be right back. All right, so I'm gonna slide this in and then we'll flip the computer over and I'll plug it in from the back because it's gonna make it a lot easier. So we'll slide it just in like that, lock it in. We'll close this and we'll flip it over. So here's the back of the drive, now that it's in the bay. We're gonna plug in the power. And you'll see there is, it's directional, so it only does go one way. And same thing with the SATA, there's a little side nub on there. So plug that in, listen for the click. Once it's all good, we'll tuck the rest of the wires. You can wire manage this um, how you so please, but that's it. 
Once it's plugged in on the motherboard and plugged in on the back of the drive, you're good to plug in the computer and we can go on to the next step. So once you're booted back up, the easiest thing to do is to just type in the search disk management. That's the name of the program we're going to use. And you'll see create and format hard disk partitions come up in the control panel. So disk management is what we're going to use. If it's a brand new drive that you've installed, you might get a pop-up that says you must initialize the drive first. You can just click yes and click through that. It just takes a second. Once you do that, you'll see your drive is here, but it's unallocated. You see the full size of the drive. This is a four terabyte drive. There's always a little bit of overhead, so it won't be the full four terabyte. The drive is online and that is a good sign. So all we're going to do is click on the drive, right click and do new simple volume. And this wizard will just take us through creating that volume. This is if you wanted to partition the drive into different sizes. We're going to use the full size of the drive, so you can just leave that as is. You can choose your letter, A to Z. We'll leave that D, that's fine. And we're going to format the volume. You can choose the file system, NTFS is fine, and you can title anything you want. So we'll call it Blue Iris Cameras. Perform a quick format, we'll click next and finish. Just take a second, say formatting. And now the drive is healthy. You can see we have two disks. We have our disk zero, which is our OS disk. And that's how Windows partitions the drive. And partitioning basically just means it cuts it into pieces um, for different uses. And then we have disk one, which is now going to be the drive that we write our cameras to. So it's ready to use. And if we go to file explorer, you can see it right here. There's the D drive and that was not there before we provisioned it in disk management. All right. So we got the drive installed and the space is allocated. It is ready for us to use blue iris. Stay tuned.